Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. You know, as I was um, driving down the road, I was driving um, down the road, going to the uh, airport to pick up Brother Steve Campanelli. Um, and I was thinking, you know, over the, the last series I've done about uh, the video series on Jesus. And of course, I was thinking, I said, I wonder what would have happened or what would have took place if I would have approached it from another point. Like, for instance, an actual factual point. The historical figure, as well as who I believe is the Messiah, and the way that he has been depicted and whitewashed by American and the Europeans is this. Jesus was not and never has he ever been a white man. And I challenge you to get your Bible and prove, I don't care what book you use, that Jesus was a white man. Because the truth is, Jesus was not a white man. Now, so then I start thinking, how is it in this society that we have been conditioned to say, okay, some things are okay for us to talk about and to discuss, and other things are not okay for us to talk about or discuss. See, I'm a person that believes for the sake of honoring the truth. Notice and listen to me very closely. I said for the sake of honoring the truth. Because if we're going to be truthful, we're going to have to deal with the truth. Now, I noticed one thing about this country. And I noticed, I said this country because Pastor Dow, you know, I, I have visited many places in this world. Um, I, I've been here in America, many states in this union. I've been to Honduras. Um, I, I, I've been, just this just to name a few places. I've lived in Germany for three years. I've been to England, France. Um, I mean, I've been to a lot of places in, in this little short period of life that I've lived. And I understand the sentiments of a lot of places um, and, and, and cultures. But it is amazing how in this culture we've been conditioned some things you talk about and other things you don't talk about because people will get too upset. People will get too offended. Uh, people will get too aroused over those things. The only reason why I can figure the reason why people refuse to talk about certain subjects is because they are afraid of the truth. I mean, after all, uh, like I was stating the other day before, when you look at me here in America, whether you like it or not, you see a black man. Um, if I was to go out and rob a store and a white woman saw me robbing a store and the police was asking for a description of me, um, they would definitely ask what type or what color man was he. And then the woman, if she replies, oh, I don't see no color, she would be a liar. She would describe me as a black man. Now, the spectrum of black or colored folks, if I can be more uh, what you call politically correct, because some people get, get off the chain if you mention black. For some reason, there's a stigma with that word black for some reason. I mean, it's, it's remarkable and amazing, right? Why is it that we've been conditioned in this country that some things it's okay to talk about, but other things we need to adopt a hands-off attitude. Well, Pastor Dow don't function like that. I don't function like that. And ain't never going to function like that um, because I don't believe. I, I believe that um, um, truth pressed down will always rise to the top. And um, I'm not about to be controlled and manipulated just because some people can't get it through their thick heads uh, what the truth is because they refuse to deal with it. Um, that That's your problem. It ain't my problem. Uh, but for the sake and honor and the truth, Jesus was a black man. And he and if we want to be more correct, he was a man of color. But just like Jake Smith Four said, he was definitely not a white man. Can you bite off on that truth? Was Jesus a white man? Yes or no? Let's get this thing going. Number five. 